invasive species. <laughs> Examples. Organisms tend to live in one general area on Earth. They may find it hard to spread to new places because of their size or because of barriers like mountains, oceans, deserts, and rivers. Most species are very well suited for where they have developed and live. Sometimes organisms do move to new areas. It may take a long time for a species to expand its range, or it can happen quickly if conditions in the environment change. Some species move to new areas naturally, but in many cases humans are involved. Just because a species is introduced to a new habitat does not mean that it will reproduce, survive, and spread into other areas. However, there are times when species adapt very well to their new surroundings. They may have no predators, parasites, diseases, and or competitors that were present in their native habitat. Often, when species move to an area where they don't normally live, they can cause many problems. An invasive species is one that is not native to a particular ecosystem and that does or is likely to cause harm to the environment and or the economy. Examples of invasive species Invasive species can be plants, animals, microorganisms, or any other organism. Some of them live in water. Some of them live on land. Some of them live inside other organisms. There are too many invasive species in Illinois to show them all on this video, but here are some examples. House Sparrow House sparrows from England were released in New York City in 1852. From that release and several others, the birds have been able to colonize North America and South America. It can spread diseases to humans and other animals and eats agricultural products. European Starling About 60 European starlings were released in New York City in 1890. This species now lives from southern Canada and Alaska to Central America. They compete with native species for nest cavities, feed on fruit and other agricultural products, and live in large flocks that can cause problems too. Cattle Egret Originally native to Asia, Africa, and Europe, the cattle egret began naturally expanding its range in the 1800s. This species appeared in North America in 1941. Its rapid spread is due to its relationship with humans and their livestock. This bird follows large grazing animals feeding on the insects that are attracted to the livestock and that are stirred from the ground and vegetation by livestock as they feed and move. Although cattle egrets are considered an invasive species, they have not been shown to cause major ecological damage. They can be a safety hazard for planes at airports, though, due to their flocking behavior around runways, and they can spread some diseases. Japanese Beetle Native to Japan, it is believed that Japanese beetle larvae arrived in the United States in a shipment of iris bulbs. Adult beetles were first seen in New Jersey in 1916. The species has spread throughout much of the eastern half of the United States. More than 250 species of plants are eaten by Japanese beetles, and large infestations of beetles can be very destructive to plants. Emerald Ash Borer The Emerald Ash Borer is a native of Asia. It was discovered in Michigan in 2002 and spread quickly to other states and Canadian provinces. By 2006, it was present in Illinois. The larvae of this insect feeds only on the inner bark of ash trees, causing them to die. Millions of ash trees have been killed. This pest has caused tremendous costs to cities, homeowners, forestry product businesses, and plant nursery owners. Goldfish Goldfish have been released into the waters of North America since the 1600s. Among the most recent means of spreading the species are the release of bait fish, release of aquarium fish, and escapes from ponds. As it feeds on the bottom of a water body, the goldfish stirs up soil, increasing turbidity, and decreases the amount of aquatic vegetation. Asian Carp Big head carp and silver carp are two species of carp from Southeast Asia that are considered invasive. They are present in the Illinois, Mississippi, Ohio, Wabash, and other large rivers and their tributaries in the state, as well as in many lakes. Their diet is the same as that of many native species. They grow very quickly, and they average about 30 to 40 pounds in weight, although they can weigh much more. 
They take food away from native species and can be a danger to human health. The silver carp has the habit of jumping out of the water when boat motors are near. People in the boat can be injured. Rusty Crayfish The Rusty Crayfish is native to the Ohio River and parts of Kentucky, Indiana, and Ohio. It is spread to many other parts of the United States and Canada. It displaces and or hybridizes with native crayfish, decreases the density and variety of invertebrates, and reduces the abundance and diversity of aquatic plants that native fish is used for cover and food. The rusty crayfish eats plants and animals and can feed at two times the level of similarly sized native crayfish. Garlic mustard. Garlic mustard is a plant that grows primarily in shaded areas such as forests as well as in yards and along roads. Native plants have been shown to decline in abundance when garlic mustard is present. It releases chemicals in the soil that suppress native plant growth. It was released in North America in the 1860s and has spread tremendously. It is now the dominant plant species in many woodland understories in eastern North America. This species is native to Europe, Asia, and Africa. Autumn Olive Autumn Olive is native to China, Japan, and Korea. It was brought to the United States in the 1830s. In the 1950s, it was promoted as a great way to control erosion while providing wildlife habitat. Many people planted it for these purposes. While it does provide some wildlife habitat, it causes more harm than good. It is a dense shrub that can grow to 20 feet tall. It grows rapidly and thickly, displacing native plants that need sunshine to grow. Each plant produces hundreds of thousands of seeds annually. It can grow in many types of habitats. Using cutting or burning to try to remove this species usually results in causing the plant to return in greater numbers than before. It can be easily spread by birds that eat the fruits and deposit their seeds in their waste materials. West Nile Virus This invasive species is carried mainly by mosquitoes and causes illnesses and sometimes death in humans and wildlife, especially birds. It was first identified in Africa in 1937. By 1999, it was present in the United States, and over the next five years, it spread throughout North America.